Hi. So today I'm going to talk about a question. Uh, a couple of people have asked me uh, in the comment section of one of my video, which is that does A's matter in quantitative finance? Well, this question is not very clear as to as in what you you like to know. But I'm assuming that you want to know whether you want to start a career in quant finance and you are already you know 31 32 33 is it a good age to start career uh, start your career in quantitative finance it's a very good question actually i'm sure you're not the only one who is having this uh, question in your mind there are many people who have got this question in their mind it depends on not number of things but let me tell you that the average age um, in quantitative finance is is a lot higher compared to that in let's say in software engineering uh, for many reasons especially in, in india but elsewhere also, right? Because if you want to become a software engineer, I think most software engineers have got just a bachelor degree. Um, maybe a few have got master's degree as well, but I've never seen somebody uh, who has done a PhD uh, writing software. Well, there are actually, I know many people, but at least I've never worked with them um, or neither have, um, I mean, when I was in, in software development, I have never worked with uh, anyone having a PhD in anything. But that is totally different in the case of quantitative finance. Uh, in, in quant finance, uh, you'll find that uh, people um, have got PhD, people have got uh, postdocs after PhD, and many people have been double masters, triple masters degree and all that, right? Um, so you don't you know, start your career uh, in quant finance uh, right after bachelor degree. At least most people don't uh, start that way. Um, and hence the average age is, is normally much higher, right? Um, so to answer a question directly, if you are already over 30, right, is it a good time to start your career in quant finance? Why not? So that's the short answer. I mean, I've seen many people um, who have started the career in quantitative finance after the age of 30, because when you, finish your PhD, uh, you're already in your 30s, right? Uh, science or engineering PhD takes five to six years. Um, and if, if you started in 23, 24, you're already 29, 30, and you have done postdocs, you're already in your mid 30 maybe. And many people have, you know, started the career when they were like uh, 32, 34, even 35. I know people even 37 were started in quant finance um, after you know many stints in, in academia as a postdoc or as working as a student professor. And many people who have uh, worked in other fields such as in software development for many years or, or in, in data science for many years, some people have made a transition to quant finance uh, you know through through different courses or different uh, through learning self learning. Um, yeah, many of them. You know start at a beginner level and and they're already in in in, in the mid 30s okay so it's quite possible um, um yeah also it depends on uh, a number of things actually like what you what in quant finance you want to do right um i think in in big banks and all people that don't care much about your age i think big organizations simply don't care about your age um, but it also depends on the hiring manager. I know some hiring managers are a bit particular about the age and experience of uh, the candidate. Um, if you are an experienced candidate, I think um, it won't matter much. If you already have experience in other fields. But if, if you have not been doing anything since you graduated from university, you have you know wasted 10 years of your life doing nothing, then that will be a bit tough, right? Uh, but if I've done something, right, you have done some job, you have done some scientific work, you have done some engineering work, you have, you have been doing something, then, then it will only be a big of an issue, uh, right? Having said that, uh, I think um, the younger people are preferred in many, uh, by many, many um, managers, by the way. Uh, for a variety of reasons, I think people have this biasness that, you know, younger people are more energetic, so they will be willing to work hard, even with a less salary, uh, which may not always be true, but uh, that's the perception, right? So also depends on the market, right? In Indian, Indian market, you know, there are a lot of graduates uh, straight out of university, they start working in, 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 
in quant finance directly through quant placement. So you, you have a mix of uh, people in the early 20s, but also people who are in the late 20s. But if you go to Europe, actually, right, uh, almost nobody start the career at the age of 22, 23, 20, even 24. I think most people who start the career, they're already 25, 24, 25. Right. At least in the field of finance, I'm not sure about other fields. Almost everybody is a master's degree, right? In fact, uh, in many European countries, you simply cannot get a job with just a bachelor's degree. And if you have already done your master's degree, which could take two to three years, if I've done a research master's degree, um, yeah, you're already 24, 25, right? And if I've done PhD, then you are already 30. Uh, so, yeah, so it depends on number of things right there's no straightforward answer to this question uh, but just by uh, being in your 30 uh, somebody will reject you despite you having the required qualifications and skills uh, less likely right but there may be exceptions right there may be some companies we will look at it i don't know but there are other ways to uh, go into it also right you know you can start small you know work with some small firms um, that where you know they don't have uh, that bargaining power to sort of attract good talent you know just start with this small consulting firms a boutique consulting firms they are always looking for people and they don't get people actually right they may not pay you well but uh, you get some experience and once you get experience nobody really cares about age and, and other things right as long as you have the skills required skills not, nothing really nothing else really matters right so that's the thing i want to share with you but i also don't want to give an unrealistic expectation uh, you know uh, that you know it will never matter right that's not the case right if you are already in the mid 30 uh, you have done completely different thing uh, you will face the challenge of convincing the interviewer that why you are interested in the field of finance at this age of your life right what, what you do is that simply study a lot about finance do some courses do some coursework Right. Uh, recently, I interviewed, a, I, I, I talked to a guy uh, with PhD physics and he's already, I think, in, in 30. Um, yeah, he's interested in the field of finance after having done PhD from a good university. So, uh, he's already got a, an offer in, in some uh, company, but not as a quant, but as a software developer. I don't think he will have problem in getting a, a quant role uh, given his profile. Right. So if you have a good profile, uh, don't dis be discouraged by the fact that you are uh, in your 30s already. Right. Uh, you can always uh, apply and, and get your first job and after that nobody really cares. Thanks.